Michael Jordan here with AB Friendly Company, and we're back down in the underground meadery. I have uh, a pretty good mix that we're going to be doing today. It has a lot in it, and uh, we've already started a lot of stuff, so we don't take a lot of time. But this is going to be a brochet a banana apple cream pie. And what we're doing right now is I'm stirring down some of my honey. I've already started to boil this honey. So let's go ahead and go over what we're doing is got a hot plate and a little uh, saucepan and I've poured in one pound of uh, clover honey and what I've done is I'm boiling it and it's going to turn into a big creamy foam. Uh, we're going to be putting a banana in it. I have a banana that's almost gone and almost gone to what we call a rotten. All right, so it's going to be creamy. Right, and I'm going to be adding this banana to this boiling honey. And i got to kind of keep, keep an eye on it, so we'll drop the banana in it. And we're going to caramelize a banana with caramelized honey. So we're going to be boiling this honey. It's been boiling approximately already 15 minutes before I put the banana in it. So I got the honey boiling before I put in a dark brown banana. And we just want to keep sure... We're going to stir that up, and now we're going to make a caramelized banana honey. Is basically what we're doing. Is we're going to mash that up. I could have probably diced it up a little bit, but we're going to cook it down in this honey as it's boiling. Now you got to always keep an eye on your boiling honey. Remember, this is going to be a hot mess, right? So keep a good eye on it. It's going to boil and foam. You don't want to over foam everything and. Uh, mess up everything you got. But what I'm do doing is I'm mashing up a banana and boiling some honey. I'm going to get this really mixed up good here. It's a really good smell. right? Uh, it's got a boiled honey and caramelized uh, banana is what we're doing. So it's all caramelized honey and banana. I don't know if you can see it, but we're getting the honey so it's like bubbling into a foam. We're going to change the color as well as the taste. It's going to go caramelized and a little bit darker. So what I've done is, why this heats back up here real quick. I've got my one gallon fermentator. I've got my card with the recipe. The recipe is one can of apple pie filling, one can of banana cream pie filling, two kiwi. We've already diced them and got those all chopped up. We're going to be using apple juice. Put the apple juice in the refrigerator, get it really cold. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of Fermit O. I'm going to be using one pound of caramelized honey that we're doing what we call a brochet. So we're brocheting the honey with a banana. And then I've added two pounds of honey here, just dumped it in with two cups of hot water to get it all mixed down to our sugar mix. And before I get out of my wits and get really going, I should have a drink of me before this really gets going. This is a cran apple braggot that we made. It's a cran apples and apple juice with a uh, light grain. All right, I'll come back now. So we've taken our jug, we've dumped in two pounds of honey with two cups of hot water. And we've mixed it up and we poured in uh, a pound of honey here and it's boiling and we've added a banana to it and the banana as you saw was black almost ready to go bad so it's a good banana to use and we're just getting this all boiled down into a good caramel uh, boil this for no more than 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes makes a good brochet and you just boil it in a nice saucepan. Keep an eye on it, stir it, keep control of your temperature. Do not let this go everywhere. It will burn you. So make sure you keep a good eye on it on what you're doing. Mmm, that smells really good with the banana in it. So we're gonna go ahead and add our apple pie filling. So I take my funnel that we used before to put the honey in. 
we're gonna see if we can get your apple pie filling in here without any without any problems. I might have to scoop it and drop it in. One thing about doing it this way on the film is usually I'm able to do quite a bit more, but I gotta keep checking the the brocheted honey because I do not want it to overflow and make a mess. And I don't want it to burn, so every once in a while you do have to scrape it out. I think I might have to just do the hand method here and see if we can get some of this in here. Now with the wider jugs it works a little bit better. Remember to always keep an eye on your brochet honey. That seemed to work a little bit better. Let me wash my hand here real quick. Try to always keep my hands pretty much clean and wash them when we're doing stuff. Now I do have my coffee pot on with some hot water to clean out the cans when we get going. Get some more of this pie filling in. Stir my brochet up. Now I do have my rag to wipe the jug down and stuff. Remember sure you have a, a wet rag to kind of clean up after what you're doing. This smells so good. Uh, I'm just going to let you know this is a good way to make a pancake syrup. Boil some honey, throw some bananas in it, boil it all up. It makes a fabulous pancake syrup. So now we're going to try to add a little bit of this banana cream pie filling. Remember this is almost like adding the banana puree that we did before. Get a good start with it now that I can get.
doing actually pretty good. I thought I'd make way more of a mess. Pie filling is really hard to work with. Now, pie filling has some residual sugars in it as well as flavors and all other kinds of things, but so it's no different than using probably a good baby food. Oh, I wish you could see the color of this. This is uh, really starting to cook down nice. It's been almost 20 minutes here to 25 minutes. I should have set a timer to do it, but the this has got a really nice golden color now to it. Alright, let's go ahead and get a little cleanup going here. Wash my hands, throw my cans away, alright so I'm going to go ahead and drop in the kiwi real quick, I diced up two kiwi for this mix. Alright, so I've got apple pie filling in here and banana cream pie filling inside our jug. Got everything kind of cleaned up here. We didn't make too much of a mess. Always keeping an eye on our rochette. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix this up here a little bit. So, so far we've put in two kiwi, a can of apple pie filling, a can of banana cream filling, two pounds of honey, and two cups of hot water. Here we went ahead and we boiled down one pound of honey with a banana in it to make a caramelized banana and a caramelized honey. And it's done really good. The smell is awesome. It's got a good color, and now I've batted it all down here. It's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my saucepan. Super awesome. This would be really good to, like I said, put on pancakes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of apple juice into this to cool it down just a little bit. And we're going to pour it in the jug. Alright. It cooled right down. That worked out really good. So I'm going to get out my funnel again. Remember, take your time. This is a little hot. Man, it smells so good. Um, let's 
see if there's anything stuck now. Not too much. It's pretty much all cooled and caramelized. I'm going to stick that in my sink. Try not to stick any of your open pans back on your burners. You don't want anything to scorch the bottom of your burners or anything at all. Remember to have your lid to your jug. I'm going to add some more apple juice to this. And this was a half of a half gallon. So this is a half gallon. And remember we used already some of this. We saved half of it. So we're going to probably be adding a little bit more water to this. But I want to just go ahead and shake this up real quick. And get it all mixed back down again. juice so we're going to top this off so this will be really fun for everybody to try So this has kiwi, banana cream pie filling, apple pie filling, honey that's been brochette, which means we've boiled the honey to a caramelization with a caramelized banana that we add to the brochette to caramelize the banana to go with it. We've added this all together and used apple juice. We've only used two cups of hot water, that way we could break down the initial honey. And we've got that all in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use our temperature gun. We're at uh, 72.1. So I'm going to write that down. Our temperature starting out with 72.1. Now we need to get our starting gravity. We'll see how good we can pour this with this mix in here. And you get a little spin, and it says here 22% alcohol potential at 1.160. All right, so that's a good starting gravity temperature. Clean off my the drama here real quick. Put it back in its case so we don't break it. Alright, we'll pour the mix back in. Alright, a little bit left to try. Man, if the sweetness goes away from this, this will be really good. Uh, the caramelized banana and everything comes out really hard right at the beginning. And then I've got the light apple juice coming in the back end. So this will be really good. I'm going to go ahead and add our Fermit O. One tablespoon of Fermit O. And 
and our yeast. And our yeast we're using, we're using the EC1118. The EC1118 is basically what it is. We get just a little jostle to get the nutrients and the yeast mixed up in there. All right, and we're going to go to our balloon method because we're using the plastic jug. The balloons on the jug seem to work really good. Now with this, I might have to change the balloon out because it may get pretty big because of all the adjunct and nutrients we put in it. All right. So basically you have a banana apple cream pie and this will take about a little bit longer. This is going to be probably a 40 day fermentation to really get it going. You might have to change the balloon out. Hey, this is the first time you got to see us do a brochette. Um, brochettes are really cool. We're going to do a couple different brochettes. We're going to do a plain honey brochette. We're going to end up doing a, another apple brochette where we're going to do a braggot so it, it makes a big difference on caramelizing the honey this is a, a more advanced technique here um, on a larger scale you'd use a whole bunch of different other things but on, on a home scale we've used fresh fruit uh, rotten fruit right we use the kiwi which was a fresh fruit we use the brown black banana which would be the rotten fruit then we used canned fruit then we went ahead and we brocheted honey and we mixed it with raw honey. So I mean there's, there's, there's a lot of elements here that went into this one from rotten fruits, fresh fruits, canned fruits, yeast nutrient, a good yeast base, raw honey, brocheted honey, and we even caramelized a banana that was the rotten fruit in the honey. So this is a pretty little more intense little method. Like I said we started boiling our honey a little bit earlier so it really get going for you coffee pot, hot plate. Make sure you really keep an eye on it. Get yourself a wooden spoon so when you're doing stuff it doesn't heat in your hand and you can use it to mix with. Uh, but this is a fun one and it's going to be a fun one to drink. So here you have our apple banana cream pie with a little kiwi in it so it's like a green apple pie almost but uh, the flavors and stuff in it are going to come out really good as it starts to age. So this one would be like I would age this one a full year. Even when fermentation is done, let it sit full year. Let all the flavors come out so you can try it. Uh, but remember, always turn in and uh, subscribe here at the AB Friendly Company's uh, YouTube site, uh, 52 Meads. Share this, get more people involved. See what recipes you can come up with, different types of pie mixes that you just saw us do right here. We will be doing an apple pie using apple pie spice later on. But I thought this one was just really kind of cool showing many different things in one mead that you're going to be able to do to promote it. I'm Michael Jordan with AB Friendly Company. Thank you for joining us down here one more time at the Underground Meadery.